Welcome back to Mystical Hearts Tarot, Mystical Heart Tarot readings. Today is March 27th, and this is our daily dose of reality. This reading is for the collective, so it may resonate and it may not. And let's get started. Okay, what message do you have for us today, Spirit? Okay, these all, ooh, okay, they all came out, so I'm going to take them all. Please excuse my dog in the background. She's okay, she just took a drink of water. All right, we have the world, we have completed something. We have the world at our hands we are we are enjoying ourselves because we have completed something we are having an issue with our emotions or there is maybe we're trying to start a new relationship and it's not going well so we thought we have or we believe we have the world at our hands we're enjoying it we're celebrating and then there's an issue excuse my dogs please there is an issue within a relationship a new relationship it may be a relationship we're trying to start that we're having issues with maybe a new relationship We need to pay attention to our dreams. There may be an issue. What? Okay, this is, um, <coughs> I can't speak. Okay, what is done in the dark will come out in the light, I believe. I just heard that. So maybe a new relationship was forming and something happened and we're finding out about it through our dreams and now we are resting and thinking about things and things that have happened things that have occurred I don't think we're asleep in this. I think we're maybe just relaxing or possibly meditating and an ancestor, spirit guide, higher power is watching over us as, this, as we do this. This person is sending these messages to us in our dreams. We are receiving these messages in our dreams and they're coming from a higher power maybe a spirit guide ancestor somebody is sending us these messages in our dream about this person that we were attempting to start a relationship with we were on top of the world 
believing that this was going to be a good relationship when in fact something happened and it didn't turn out to be a good relationship. Maybe the real relationship never got off the ground. Maybe the person did something and we're receiving messages about this and we're getting them in our dreams. And we have a lack of faith. So now we have a lack of faith because of this person. We have a lack of faith. But we need to get our faith back. We need to get our faith back because we need to get our faith back. Not about this person. I feel like we need to get our confidence back. Faith in ourself. That's what I'm hearing. Faith in ourself. We need to get that back and pay attention to what's coming to us from this higher power in our dreams. And there, there, it looks like there was a conflict. Maybe a conflict either with this person. There may have been a conflict with this person. Or it may be a conflict from within with our emotions. This person may have been younger. This person may have been younger. Or maybe our younger self is part of these dreams, thoughts coming in. Our younger self, we're going back to our younger self and thinking about how would we we react and maybe our younger self is what caused this conflict maybe something that we've done in the past when we were younger may have been acceptable when we were a teenager so to speak that's not no longer acceptable now and that may be also what is taking place. But I feel like it was it was a relationship a relationship of some sort. It could be friendship. It doesn't have to be necessarily a personal relationship. It could be a friendship. I mean, it could be a relationship with a pet. I don't always look at relationships as being with another person. It could be a relationship within ourselves as well. How we react to ourself and within ourself. And this could be our younger self that's causing the conflict. And not allowing us to pay attention to our dreams and the, and the communication that's coming to us through our dreams. We are, now we are releasing a lot of these thoughts that have come to us that no longer serve us. 
we're releasing them. And there's things of value that we're letting go of. Things we've created that we had value in. And those things that we value could be our thoughts. Could be some thoughts. Thoughts we had as a teenager. Thoughts we had as a younger self. That we, we no longer see value in those thoughts. And that's why we're releasing them. So we're going to rest and we're going to think about the thoughts that are left. We've taken away some of these thoughts. We've taken away some of these thoughts, but we still have a few left. And now we're going to sleep on it, and we're going to pay attention to what we're dreaming. These thoughts will come to us in a dream, and we need to pay attention to them. Because I always believe that our family does come to us in our dreams if they've crossed over. And that's what I think this may be. This could be a family member that's crossed over that's coming to you and telling, putting these thoughts into you while you're resting or meditating. Okay, let's take one from our star seed. And see what we get from that. What message does the star seed have for us today? What I'm getting from all this is we thought we had the world in our hands. Some of our childish thoughts, teenage thoughts, has ca caused issues in developing a relationship, whether it be a relationship with another person, with a pet, or within ourself as well. It could be any of those. And that's what I feel like I see here. Okay. What message do you have? One card, please. I remember how appropriate I remember so you remember you have memories from your teenage years soul plan the faded life versus the destiny life and that all fits in here what you were thinking when you were younger may not apply now And I'm going to take one 
from our faded deck as well. the sage. So this goes along with what I've been saying. All of this is related to our younger years. And our soul plan may have changed over a course of time. The faded life versus the destiny life and the way we thought when we were younger no longer applies in our adult life in our adult life we are the sage I hope this helped if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section. Please like and share this video out. I, it would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you back here tomorrow for tomorrow's Daily Dose of Reality. Have a great day.